In the last video, I built the exterior of my new hotel. And in today's video, we are going to be decorating the interior. I'm talking gym. I'm talking hotel rooms. I also just want to credit Queen Moon Snow, who came up with the exterior of this hotel. So let's dive in. Since the last episode, I have made a few changes to the exterior, which I think I should point out. First of all, these little nuggets, as I like to call them on top of the roof, I added them. And also, yes, guys, the back is now looking just as dandy as the front. So as we go inside Hotel Jerises, I'm joking. I don't know what it's going to be called yet. Comment down below your ideas for the name. This is sort of our reception. Now, as you can see, it's very thin. That's kind of small. We're going to build the walls a little higher and add in a roof. So when you first walk in this entry, I want you to be astonished. I want you to be astounded. The best way to do that is by having a really fancy flooring from the get-go. Since there's so much glass, what's on the porchway really does count. So I'm going to start off by just adding some vines. As you walk in, I want us to have a bunch of these geometric chandeliers. My idea is to have them dangling at different lengths, sort of like a jungle gym. Just to neaten up this front bit, I'm simply putting in a structural beam. And guys, is it bad that I've already changed my mind on the vines? But I instead thought, why not have some waterfalls? Now it's just going to look a little nicer from when we're on the inside. So the check-in desk, I think we should have two, maybe one each side. They're not going to be anything too wild because it's actually a very, very small entrance. And blimmin' heck, what's going on here? And hopefully I have some cashiers on my 41. Did you guys see that? That just goes to show you how many businesses I've had in Blocksburg. Upon the desk, we'll have a couple of chairs. When you get to hotel, check-in normally takes ages. And as I said, I'll just copy that onto the other side. This build is honestly so different from anything I've done before. I mean, as McDonald's would say, ba -ba 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 -ba, I'm loving it. Personally, I think we should use these glass doors. I don't think I've ever used these before, but they're so so neat. And then above each door, I think we should have pictures of the seaside. Wonderbar. That looks super nice. Since this is kind of a minimalist build, guys, we're just going to add LEDs. And if you thought this room was a little basic, I wanted it out of the way. Get off my back. We're now going to be moving on to rooms that look like this. Each side, we are going to have the elevator rooms slash gorgeous seating areas. So we're going to be putting that seating area in this room. First of all, though, we need to work out how far up this elevator needs to go. And it looks like a three. My money's going downtown. And for the floor, we're going to end up putting a custom decal. But let's first work on that seating area. So essentially, what we have going on here is a little bit of built-in magic. We are going to grab out wicker. And I'm too dumb to find it, so I'm just going to search it up. And I'd say we can fit about three of these in here. So we're then going to center it and pull it to the front. The next stage is adding the archway. So we already have these from the gazillion archways we put on the front. And we're just going to line this up real nice. And oh no, it's vanished. I need that to line them up. Voldemort is playing a trick on me today. <laughs> It's okay, we'll just put this light here so we can see it for now. The second to last stage is adding pillows. We all know how to do that, or at least hope we all know how to do that, or I'd be quite worried. And the last step is adding in the decal code. So if I pull that TikTok up again, this is the code. And just like that, beautiful seating bit. Mine is a little thinner than hers because we're a little bit tighter for space. This hotel is going to be very, very symmetrical. So after I finish building everything on this side, I'm going to snap and copy and paste it on that side. We'll get to that in a mo. It wouldn't be a Reese's build without some sneaky underfoot floor lighting. So I have a screenshot of this chair. There isn't a tutorial for it, but I thought I'd try and build it anyway. To me, it basically looks like you get a park bench and sort of just put a bunch of cylinders on it. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'd be too scared to sit on that, to be honest. Anyway, the final thing we're going to add in here is a custom carpet, which actually looks really nice in this room. Over to this side is going to be our gym. Let me place all the walls in so we can kind of get a gist of how much space we actually have. So this is the space we have for the gym. As you can see, it's absolutely massive and it's going to be really nice and two story and tropical in here. But we also get space for a meditation room off the side. And of course, I'm going to put a floor in here. I'm not just going to let you guys fall to your peril in the dungeon. So in a room with ceilings, this tall. I feel like we kind of need to have a two-story part of the gym. Otherwise, it just seems like a massive waste of space because there's only so far tall ceilings can get you in Blackburg. And so we must also remember to put the staircase in. Imagine we forgot that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
And guys, I have a story time just while we're building this. I recently got a new teacher at my school, yeah? He is so bad, guys. Basically, he is teaching us nothing that we need to learn for our exam. And we've tried to tell him this, and he, he started getting sassy with me. He was like, excuse me. Excuse me! Statistics have shown, yeah, guys. He started talking to me about statistics. And I was like, honey bunny, we were doing just fine before you got here with your stupid statistics. But it's been a long week, and it's only Tuesday. But yes, this is our gym. And if you're wondering how these lights are so bright, when I went to color it, I basically just zoomed it all the way up to the top. It's normally down here. I just went bloop. And so you will need the color wheel to do this, but it's definitely worth getting it. And this gym ain't gonna be like my normal gyms, guys. Look! At these pictures, once again, they come from Queen Moon Snow. And I want to start off by doing that built-in cabinet unit. We're going to start off by putting some modern cabinets in and then a modern one just up in the middle. And all of the wood in this building is just going to be linen. I think then I might use this basic cube to sort of make different shelves and levels. The top one only needs to be thin and that's because it's going to be the roll-up mat. And as for the rest, it's happy days. All we need to do is add in our treadmills and I am strategically placing these looking out of the window. That is going to be one of the selling points of the hotel. We'll also put some weights on the floor next to the treadmill because some crazy people like to lift weights while on the treadmill. Could never be me. And then everyone's favourite thing to do, look in the mirror. I'm sorry, looking in the mirror, you honestly feel like you're in a movie, don't you? I feel like Josh Hutchison when I look in the mirror. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll have some weights lined up by the door. And then I feel this center part here is absolutely perfect. This video shouldn't even be called building a hotel. It should be called wasting all Reese's money because we've already spent 200 grand. We've done like two rooms. So that is concerning. Up here is going to be our bicycles. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. And actually we're not going to put the yoga mats out here because remember we have our meditation room, which we're just about to get to. Now for our meditation room. So once again, we're going to be making use of lots of these yoga balls and yoga mats. It's kind of going to be like a yoga class, you know, with all the Zen moms or dads if they want to go there. We'll just have some sitting area, maybe for the spouses to sit at and some skipping. And again, another selling point, doing yoga over the beach. Oh, wonderful. That is this entire side done. So remember this side is going to be mainly the same, except for this is going to be sort of the dining hall as well. Snap. And here I am back. And guys, I must confess, it's been about 20 minutes on the clock. I have done so much. So let me show you what I've done. First of all, I've obviously added everything on this side that was there before. I changed the chairs up a little bit because I thought a little bit of variety can never hurt anyone. This room here, I think maybe a restaurant. Then on the second floor, these rooms are weird. They're sort of filler rooms, if you will. They're basically just sitting areas for any, what do you call them, customers? What are they called? Residents? And this side also gives gym access, but I won't give too much away before the tour. What I mean by it being weird is, as you can see, this top floor is going to lead straight in to the hotel rooms. And we only actually get two, but I thought we might as well work what we got. We'll have one master suite this side, one master suite this side, and then a joining balcony in the middle. Just before we get onto the bedrooms, we should probably do the canteen canteen cafeteria. So we're going to get a little bit more bourgeoisie in here. It's going to be beach chic. <laughs> I don't really know what the style is called, but as I said, kind of beachy. Ooh! What was that noise? Sounds like I just got possessed by a cow. Moo! So yes, yeah, so we'll have concrete wall trim surrounding it, which looks absolutely stunning. What you'll normally have in a all-inclusive hotel is buffet area. So we're going to pop that all along this side. Now, buffets are my favorite. I love ordering food at restaurants, but there's nothing better than just going around and getting such a variety of food. We'll have a lot of espresso machines as well. I'm feeling like a few more windows along the side wouldn't hurt anyone. And then the tables are normally the festive tables. Now, I don't often use these because I think, uh, not to be rude, they look like garbage. <laughs> but in this scenario, I think they actually look perfect. Since Valentine's Day is coming up soon, I'm going to put some roses on the table. And, and we haven't had a Valentine's update yet. So I wonder when that is going to be coming. And finally, in this room, which I'm going to call the Great Hall, I'm going to add some tiles. And it's basically just going to be these blue and white squares just repping around the side a little bit. I love it. I love it. I love it. So now we've got to do the kitchen, which is going to be simple as salami. This is honestly the counters that they have in industrial kitchens like this. And then the fridge. And we're only going to have one fridge because we ain't storing 
are no frozen food in here, honey bunny booba. Oh, no, no, no. We are only cooking fresh food. This kitchen looks so futuristic. <gasps> Speaking of the future, guys, have you seen the new Apple Vision Pro? I have been hooked on the reviews of the Apple Vision Pro. I've been watching iJustine. Basically, if you don't know, it's like an iPhone that goes through your eyeballs. It's insane. And I really want one, guys. But anyway, the kitchen is done, which means all you have left to do is the hotel rooms, and then we'll add some seats outside. Personally, I want to do the corridor first. I don't know why. So I have the glass doors either side, and then I feel like a window above is fitting. Out on this balcony, I'm going to add a red carpet. This is literally going to be such an exclusive hotel. Of course, all you guys are invited in. Imagine walking along your balcony like you'll be like a queen. And since it's kind of indoor, outdoor living, I'm actually going to add some of these dresses in here. Kind of like we're actually in a room. And this outside bit, oh, I can't go over how good this looks, guys. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. And you're going to have your very own personal comfort sofas out here. And we're going to do my little building hack with the coffee tables, which basically flatten out a sphere, put a little top hat on the top, and then you've got yourself a really, really grand table. Both of the suites are going to be the same. I think once again, we'll focus on the left. The most rudimental parts of a hotel room, and rudimental basically means one of the most important basics of a bedroom, is a bathroom. So that space over there is going to be for the bathroom. And notice how earlier I cleverly planned this, guys. I used these concrete wall trims. That's because I knew up here we'd have this like roof poking in, which I can't fix. So we're merely going to cover that up with these, and it fixes everything. Everything is better. You don't get messy. It's so much better. <laughs> And also, these should probably be covered up. This isn't a place that you can just freely jump out. These were originally meant to be doors. And then for safety, I don't want anyone suing my hotel. We will add these, but it's only going to be a very small Juliet balcony. That's what they're called when they only go out a little bit. And that has also just improved like the front by 10 million percent. Back into the room though, we have got to have a king-sized canopy sleigh bed. And the most exotic one Bloxburg has to offer is this. So to make this look nice and comfortable for everyone who's going to be staying, here we are going to be adding this bed comforter and several pillows and why did i just sound like i was like selling this bed as a product this bed can fit a whopping two people in it that's the main bit of the bed done since these are in fact suites they are going to need kitchens and a hotel suite is essentially a mini apartment that you get to stay in with an island bench and once again roses is definitely valentine's day themed in here and now it's time for the bathroom and i'm going to be taking some more building hacks from queen moon snow let's actually together watch her building hack. So look at this picture. I know she's got her shower like floating. So it looks to me as if she actually has the bath on this end. That has already been put in and is sort of secured in the bathroom. And a nice boat picture as well. I reckon you need to thin out a basic cube. Oh, how magnificent is this? And then the carpet is going to be basically the shower landing spot. And to finish off such an epic bathroom, we need an epic sink. So here is a building hack of my own. Place down a basic cube. You're then going to place the sink on top. And voila, you've got yourself a gorgeous twin sink unit. Is it to be believed we have built the entire interior? All we have to do now is add a little bit of more flavor, a little bit more spice to the garden. Add a little bit of spice. The hotel is done. This is my gorgeous beach hotel. Seriously though, this exterior has got to be up there with one of the best I've ever done. And we have a few visitors ready to come to the hotel. So we'll start off by looking at the value, which is 1.1 million building. And for once, I didn't go bankrupt, guys. I still have 200k. No one's really waited around to be checked in. They are just too obsessed with the outside. As a member of staff, if I worked here, I'm more of the manager. But I'll sit here now, guys. What kind of room would you want? That's the kind of thing you'd ask in the grand entryway. If we go to the left, we have the sitting this room. room. This is basically just a place where some of the residents of the hotel can take a seat. Or it is the walkway to the gym. So she says, gym making me want to work out. Same, Same sister. Over here is our gorgeous little unit, which all credit goes to Queen Moon Snow when I custom built her things. But by far the best place is the meditation room. Yoga on the seafront. And then of course we do have a little upstairs bit, which is leading us to yet another seating area. If we, As the rest of the fans explore, the other side is basically the exact same room. It leads us on to the cafeteria. So this is where most of the milk would be had everyone running in here so you take a seat but you'd also go up to the buffet and deviled, deviled eggs. eggs what is this 
Yeah! Since when did deviled eggs and chicken wings exist? That sounds delightful. Thank you, girly pop, for filling this up. In here, guys, is the kitchen. This is where the chefs be cooking for my hotel. And then finally downstairs, we have the backyard. We shouldn't even call it a backyard. It is, it's more of a beach. So this is kind of the adult pool. Kids probably won't be allowed in here. It's more of the, the quiet one. And to the other side is our lounger. So what's new is all of this around it. Our cabanas, our picnic areas, and the jungle bar. So if we go to the elevator over here, come on, ding, 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 ding. This should take us to the suite. So an overview shows how massive it is. We have our little kitchen island over here. We have our Juliet balconies, and then we have the custom shower. I mean, look at that. This bathroom is truly immaculate. The other side has the exact same thing, and then this hallway in the middle. Why not end the video on this gorgeous balcony and this girl is doing press ups on the coffee table. So I do hope you guys enjoyed watching me build this hotel. Thank you for letting me do two parts. Subscribe if you liked it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.